Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to prepare the financial statements. This is financial accounting basics, so the very first course in accounting. So how do we do the financial statements? Well, remember we're doing the accounting cycle. I've got several videos on making journal entries and figuring out the trial balance and the adjusted entries and the trial balance, the adjusted trial balance. So we're now to working on the financial statements. So what do we need? We need an adjusted trial balance. So we're working on the ACE Consulting, and we already have a trial balance, an adjusted trial balance from a previous video, so I'll link that below. So what are we gonna to do today? We're gonna to work on the income statement, the retained earnings statement, and the balance sheet if we already have an adjusted trial balance. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have the adjusted trial balance, and we have all the accounts with all the debits and all the credits, and we made sure that the debits and the credits, they equaled. Now, we no longer need debits and credits when we get our financial statements. So on our financial statements, we're gonna start with the income statement first, and then the retained earnings statement, and then we'll do the balance sheet. So I've got a full set here. Here's what they would look like. I might have to refer to it just so I don't make a mistake. So let's just start from scratch. Now, I've pre-built this a little bit uh, just to save a little time. You don't have to watch me type on Excel. I know it's exciting. I might start a channel, Jeff typing on Excel. That might do really, really well. So ACE Consulting, income statement, and it's for the period ending. It could be a month, a quarter, or a year. So go ahead and put that in. So this is the month of September. And the format is just going to be revenues minus expenses. And we hope we have net income if revenues are larger then there's net income if expenses are larger then there is a net loss so the first thing we have in our company is service revenue we know we have that let's go back and look at the adjusted trial balance we have down here the service revenue and it's eleven thousand five hundred so service revenue was type in eleven thousand five hundred i need to um, Make a dollar amount here. Maybe it's here, 11,500. Yep, I've got a dollar amount already. I've already formatted for dollars. And then I've got some expenses. Now, if you don't mind, I will copy the expenses, but I'll do it step by step. So let me just copy the names. So I happen to put them in order of the largest expense all the way to the smallest expense just because I can do it easily in Excel. It's not going to be a problem when you're writing it by hand or you're on a test or something like that or using homework. That's not going to be a problem. So let's just figure out how much supplies expense are. So supplies expense is 4200 Now, what I'm going to do is, just to make it really easy to read, what are my total expenses? I'm going to move to the left. You see this here? And I'm going to then do a total, a subtotal of all the expenses. And so then you can clearly see I'll take the revenues minus the expenses and get net income. So that's what we're going to do. So what is the wage expense? It's $2,100. Rent expense is $1,500. Utilities expense is 400. Insurance expense is 300. And I think depreciation is 100. Yeah, depreciation is 100. All right, so I just moved to the left column so I can easily get a subtotal. And using Excel, I'm just going to use the sum function. The sum function will be sum, start my parentheses, add all this up. And now we have the sum of the expenses. The total expenses is 8,600. I'm going to put an underline under everything to show that we've added this up. And then I'm going to take the 11,500 revenues minus the expenses of 8,600. How well did we do? Well, we end up with a net income of 2,900. Now, how do we know it's net income? Because the revenues are greater than the expenses. If the expenses were greater, we would call this net loss. So the first step in doing the financial statements is doing the income statement, 
we have a positive net income, we're happy, and now we can do the next two statements, the retained earnings statement and the balance sheet. Now, the retained earnings statement is going to be the format. It's going to be beginning retained earnings or retained earnings. on September 1st so we know it's going to be zero okay we started a business there's no beginning retained earnings we can prove this there's no retained earnings account here so it has a zero balance we will have a retained earnings at the end of this month because we're going to add some things to it and subtract some things from it now what's the format of retained earnings retained earnings Remember is all the previous year's net income minus any dividends. So we're going to add so we're going to add the net income. We're going to add the net income and we just calculated net income. So that's why we do that first. So we'll take the 2900 and then we'll take the 0 plus the 2900 and we have a subtotal. We don't have to label that at all. But because we did a subtotal, I need to put an underline here to show that's what we did. You can easily read that. And then we can subtract out less any dividends. Now, retained earnings is all about the owner. So it's an owner's equity type statement, a statement of owner's equity. This one only looks at the retained earnings part of equity. So how much are our dividends? Our dividends are $250 and it makes our equity go down. So we're going to subtract out 250. So we have 2,900 minus 250. So our ending retained earnings, our retained earnings on September 30th is going to be something like 2,650. So 2,650 dollars. Now think about what we have. We started a business and we made net income we took a little bit out 250 but in the business we have retained earnings in the amount of 2650 this all goes to the owner all right our third and final financial statement is the balance sheet the balance sheet format is going to be assets have to equal liabilities plus equity so that has to balance remember that's the accounting equation now so the balance sheet over here i'm going to copy the assets, just the, the labels here real quickly, just the account names. That'll save us a little time. You don't need to watch me type. So how much is the cash? Well, here at the very top of our trial balance is cash, accounts receivable, so on. So it's 9550 The accounts receivable is 1600 I believe I saw that. 1600 And then supplies is 400 and prepaid insurance is 1500 400 1500 now what do we do with equipment equipment common net so let's think about what we know remember we've we've added an account called accumulated depreciation dash equipment and remember accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account it reduces the balance of equipment so we're going to take these two and net these. So instead of showing 5,000, we're going to show 5,000 minus 100 is 4,900. Now I'm going to do the math here just so it reminds you 5,000 minus 100 is 4,900. Obviously you could just type in the 4,900, uh, but that's going to be the equipment common net. And so we've netted the equipment of 5,000 minus the accumulated depreciation of 100 it's really on our books at 4,900 now, not the original 5,000. We're going to add up this, and I can do a shortcut here. If you're on Windows, it's all equals, and it gives you the auto sum. I'm on a Mac, so it's Command Shift T. Let me show you again. Just put it at the very bottom, Command Shift T, and there you have the sum of all those that saves you a lot of time you're going to work a lot in excel if you're going to be a business person or a uh, financial person accounting finance major things like that so just little tips like that you can learn along the way are super helpful all right so we have the assets so we know the assets have to equal the total of liabilities and equity so we get down to the bottom this should also be seventeen thousand nine fifty let's check our work 
before we go on, 17950 All right, we have some liabilities. I think we have three different liabilities. We have accounts payable, wages payable, and unearned revenue. I'm going to copy that, if you don't mind. Copy these three. All right, so what is the total accounts payable? The accounts payable is 1200 Unearned revenue is 1200 1200 1200 and what's wages payable? Wages payable is 900 All right, so our total liabilities, our total liabilities are, let me add it up, is 3300 so this is total, total liabilities, all right? Now, we know if we really believe in the accounting equation, and we do, we could take 17,950 minus 3,300 and get the total equity. Well, let's show how this works. Our equity is going to be made up of two things, common stock and our retained earnings. Now, does retained earnings sound familiar? Remember, we just got retained earnings calculated. We have a retained earnings statement we think it's 2650. So let's go ahead and drop that in there. Our common stock is 12,000. So 12,000 is our common stock. So what is our total equity here? Our total equity looks like it's 14,650. We'll call this total equity. So what is our total liabilities in equity? We're going to take the just with it equals 3300 plus the 14650. Our magic number we need to meet is 17,950. This is our total assets is 17,950 and our total liabilities and equity 17,950. Let me reduce this just a little bit. Maybe we can see it all at once. If I do it down to 14, we might be able to see everything. Um, we have the heading, the ACE Consulting balance sheet, September 30th, and here, you can take a screenshot here or pause the video right here, here are assets, the total assets, here are our liabilities, total liabilities, here's our equity, total equity, and then we have our total assets here equal our total liabilities and equity there. So how well are we doing? We have all these assets, we have some debt, we have all this equity, so we have an income statement a retained earnings statement, and a balance sheet. Next, we'll do the closing entries process to get ready for the next period. Hey, thanks for watching. Good luck in financial accounting, and we'll see you in the next video.